I know what you're thinking, what's in the box? <laughs> That's what I'd be thinking, but we're going to also be talking about bold predictions, which is our favorite. Would you say it's our favorite show? It's, it's definitely up there. This is an it's awesome show. It's one of show. my favorites. So make sure you give us a like, but first, got to find what's in the box, no, Dustin. First, go look at our show from last year, Bold good. Prediction. We got three out of ten. But these are bold predictions. They're really bold. So three out of ten is good. You know, I got two. He got one. No big deal. Team game. It Team is... game, boss. That's Fancy sucks. smack talk got three out thirty percent, which is amazing for bold predictions. It is, and we were close on some others. But we got Very some close. exciting news. Manscaped is sponsoring this Boom! video. That we have a chance for them to maybe be a sponsor for us for in the regular season Ooh. as well. And here's the deal: we don't all normally have products made for men necessarily that often but this stuff is it's legit it's it's Show them the they, box. what's in the box what's in the box so here's the here's your your main key here the lawnmower 3.0 you gotta love the names too i mean i mean come on your balls will thank you i mean their their stuff is 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 it just makes me laugh. Ball too. toner, obviously. Who there's, doesn't need some good ball? Actually, there's ball deodorant though. So this has a this light. Is money. It's got a light on it. It's waterproof. It's it's snag and uh, nick resistant. I mean, anyone that's made a mistake down there, it's just it's thoughtful. I've made. We were a, talking about it earlier. It's just a very thoughtful tool. It's got everything. It's thoughtful. I've made a couple of mistakes down there personally, and <laughs> a little nicks. So this is the perfect package 3.0. I'm telling you, this stuff is solid. If you go onto the website, you can look at the reviews. 4,500 reviews on the Lawnmower 3.0, 4.9 out of 5 stars. I your mean, balls will thank you. They lean into it, Dustin. Your balls will thank you. They lean into it. But here's what we need you to do. Click on the link in the description. Check out their website. Buy some stuff. Use the promo code FST. It saves you 20%. Gets you free shipping. It helps us out. It helps... Manscaped out, they're getting their name out, they're showing their products, they're, you're, they're happy, your balls are happy, you're Who happy, want happy balls. your girlfriend or wife is happy, and it could lead Very to true. sponsorship. Very true, it's key. Yeah, you got to keep them happy. The girls too. are a fan of that, 100%. And it could and if lead... if you don't do it, you should be doing it, and whatever current tool you, you have, they're probably garbage. Right. It's just worth it to do. Nobody actually has something. Whatever you have, unless what you have one of these, this is better. I can guarantee you that. Right, because there's not, like, the alternatives what? Scissors, right? Like, this no, is the better way to better. go. And this could lead to us having a sponsorship for this season if you all help us out. So, Manscape, it's time to give your testies the absolute besties. I mean, <laughs> Manscape. You got to love their slogan. No, they lean into it. Listen, I know it's kind of awkward. Like how they own it. They yeah, own it. It's, but whatever. You got to be doing it. It's good to do. Check them out. It, it's I'm a groomer. You're it's, a groomer. I'm it's a legit groomer. stuff. And if let's, not, you should be. Let's get into you those. the whack, don't you, Dustin? I don't know what that is. The whack. Don't Google that, ladies and Let's gentlemen. Let's get into our right our picks. My first one is the guy that started this show a couple years ago, and we were debating about where we should have Ryan Tannehill in our rankings. That's the reason we have bold predictions. I love me some Ryan Tannehill. I was one year too early on that one. It was AKA last year. I lost the bet to Brent. Well, that year I did. He got hurt, though. But here's the deal. Tannehill, top five quarterback. I'm calling it right now. He's being ranked around 18th, 19th quarterback. I love the offense. I love Tannehill. It's a well-balanced team. I like his weapons. I like what he did last year. I like all of it, and I think he repeats it. It's not that he hasn't done it and he's going to do it this year. I think he's going to repeat it, and I just think he's getting disrespected in the rankings, calling him a top five. I'll see your quarterback and match it with a Drew Locke, not top five, top 12, which it's apparently who does better, so we'll see. So Drew Locke, top 12. First of all, your boy Tannehill in Vegas, 60 to 1 to be MVP. Mr. Locke, 70 to 1. So Vegas thinks they're pretty, they're pretty close. close. And I actually like, I love Locke's weapons. It's young, it's fun, Gordon, Lindsay, but obviously Judy, Sutton, Fant, throw the ball to. It's just a fun young lineup. I think that I'm going to be a Broncos fan this year. I think they're going to be fun to watch. He looked good in his last five games. He can also rush a little bit. Lock, top 12. If you're in a two-quarterback league, he is the perfect QB2 in my mind. And again, these are bold predictions. We're not They're saying, not all going to hit. Zero we're not chance. saying draft him as your number 12 no, quarterback. No, you can get him so much later. All right, so I got two guys on my list that I think they're going to break some curses. The first curse is the Lions running back curse. Ooh. And how many swings and misses is it going to take until they finally best. hit it? Carry on Johnson. Swift. I think he's the guy. He's I the think one? he's the one that breaks the curse. I mean, that offense, I mean, they can 
they could have a top five running back on that offense, a dual threat running back, which I think Swift can be in this <laughs> offense. I think it could that work out. That is the out. curse, though. You've always heard that. It's I mean, so, so many guys where how, it's just like, how here it comes. Him? So I think he will be a, I'm not saying first half of the year, because I think it will take some of the rookies a little bit of time, but I'm saying top 10 running back over the second half of the season. Love me some Swift. I think he's a good fit on that offense. It's a week that you're saying just the second half. That's so weak, but I just want to let be that clear. That is a week that you're saying it's only the second half. So my next guy is Dobbins. He's going to be a league winner, and I'm saying he's going to be top five, but a league winner. So I didn't really know how to put that into a thing. So I'm saying top five weeks 14 through 16. So it's so weak, you only did the second half. If mine's weak, then yours is even weaker. He's a league winner. He's going to win. So swift. Top 10 second half. That's the second half. That's the league winning. Dobbins. Top five. (laughs) He's going to be a league winner. We're talking about me, buddy. All right. Out of Ohio State, the 55th overall pick. I absolutely love this kid. He makes so much sense on Baltimore. Makes so much sense. Ingram's old. He's going to get hurt. I know you love him, Dustin. That's another reason. You know what? Whatever. Dobbins top 10. Dobbins better than Swift and top 10 second half of the season. Man, that now time? you're just getting bold. That's your, your prediction. Boom. It's your world, buddy. He fits the offense perfectly. <laughs> He's so much better than Ingram's not that good. I don't like Ingram. Ingram is I've way better than you're giving. You know what Ingram was last year? A top, top 10. 10. He was in my picks. I know. He was one of my picks. Another yeah. one of my picks from last year. Oh, it's all I talk about. My picks. Hey, working it in. Aaron Jones. I said he was going to be a top five last year. He was number two. I'm saying he's going to be top four this year. He's being ranked just outside the top 10 in most RB rankings. But I'm saying he's going to be top four. And here's the deal. Some teams draft rookies for depth. Other teams draft rookies to replace the guy that they have. When Detroit, I think it's replacing. In Green Bay, I think it's for depth. I mean, yes, Jones might not be there next year. We'll see what happens with all the contract stuff. But I don't think they're going to go away from Jones just because they drafted a guy what for what I call is depth. Will he lose some goal lines? Maybe. But the guy had 19 touchdowns last year. It's not like he has a hard time getting into the end zone. I love me some Aaron Jones. I'm not shying away completely from him. I think he could be top four running back. Mr. Kittle. I love Mr. Kittle. And last year, I correctly, and now I'm doing what Dustin does, and it's annoying, So, but I'm still going to do it. Lamar Jackson, I said, was going to break Vip's, <laughs> Vic's all-time QB rushing record. And did he, Dustin? He did. He sure did. This year, Mr. Kittle is going to have the most catches in a season ever had by a tight end. That number to beat is 116. He will get 117 or above. And here's what I'm thinking. Two years ago, he had 136 targets. I think that last year, he only had 107. I think that number creeps back up. He's been talking about how he wants to need to get paid, but paid as a wide receiver, and he runs all those routes and all that. And it is a true story. I think he is the best weapon by far in San Francisco. I know people think Debo's like this sleeper or whatever. Other than that, I mean, the other tight end that they'll line up potentially is Jordan Reed. He's hurt right now. He's not hurt, but he's hurt. So... Kittle's going to be on the field a ton. I think it's a ton of targets. He's right smack dab in his prime. 117 or more catches from Kittle. And he will be better than Kelsey. That is bold. Boom. So the other curse, I talked about some curses being broken. The other curse I think that will be broken this year is a Jacksonville Jaguars receiver having two good seasons in a row. It's been a long time. I mean, you go back with guys like... You know, guys that had good years or that looked like they are going to have good years and didn't, but like Allen Robinson, Cecil Shorts, Allen Hearns, Marquise Lee, D.D. Westbrook. I mean, there's uh, Cole. I mean, the list is just, there's a ton of guys. And I think that's what's got people scared about D.J. Shark. He had some monster games last year. I know he had a little bit of a rough patch, but he passes the eye test. He had over 1,000 yards last year in 15 games. I think he has over 1,200 yards this year, top 15 wide receiver, and breaks the curse for Jacksonville receivers that can only have one good year in a row. And again, we don't think all these are going to happen, but that also should show you Dustin thinks he's undervalued as well. He'll be on a lot of Dustin's teams, I'm assuming. Yeah, probably. All right, next on my list, who am I going with? I'm going with my boy, the guy that won me some skadoosh, Mr. Taylor. That means money. That's Mr. Taylor out of Wisconsin. I hope that's not like a bad thing in some way. I have no idea. Anyway, I hate, I hate, whatever, it's the whole side. All right, he's won me money, so I love him. Ah, I hate, I hate, I hate Mac. 
Mac is not good. I've said it in a video before, Dustin. I am not scared. Marlon Mack, you are not good at football. Man. You know why not... you were good? And you know why he had decent numbers, right, Dustin? You're going to be like, the he had decent numbers. He, he did. did have it good It was numbers. the O-line. The O-line is solid for the Colts. And I think soon enough, they're going to realize Taylor is a superior talent. Therefore, I think he's a starter much sooner than most people think. He can pick up the blitz. He was a beast in college. He's a perfect NFL prototypical running back. Lions great. Phillip Rivers, top 10 running back. For Mr. Taylor, I don't care about that guy Alan Casey. I like it. Oh, the guy in Casey might be a top 10 as well. But he very well could be. My last guy is Dallas Goddard. I think he's getting disrespected in the tight end world, currently being ranked in the high teens. I think he's going to be a top 8 tight end this year in .5 or higher PPR leagues. Here's the deal. Starting November 24th and on, here's his targets. 8, 7, 6, 6, 12, 10, 8. Targets leads the receptions. I think they are going to move the chains with their tight ends. Not that confident in that receiving core. I think Dallas Goddard is out on the field a ton. And if Ertz goes down, you got a top five tight end. All right, I'm going to go quick here. Anthony Miller, top 25 in a PPR. I don't want to hear it. It's top 25. He's going like pick 43, Dustin, whatever. That's bold enough, whatever. Third year receiver. I know that's cliche, whatever. But whether it's Foles or Trubisky back there, he's a great safety net. I think he's gonna. He's the kind of guy that's gonna be on a lot of my teams. In and out, top twenty-five. Andrew Miller, just put him on your teams in PPR league. I like him. Check out Manscaped. Help us out. Promo code FST. Get some stuff. Tell your friends. You're gonna like it. It's it's really is it's, quality stuff. Again, if you don't have something, which nobody does, because this is the only thing you can get, you use this. It's worth it. And if you're an OG, hook us up. Help, help us, us out. out. Throw it in. That's the one thing you can do to help us. I appreciate it. Subscribe, like, let us know what you're going to help you. It's going to help everybody. Oh, your balls. You already said that. (laughs) Everyone's happy. Dustin already did this thing. Everyone's happy. But it's a good point by the boss. There it is. Your balls will thank you.